Hello, hello, hello. This is Gerald Salenti, and it's Tuesday, July 5th, 2022. And you know what Tuesday is? Trends Journal Day. That's right. And here's your new cover. The Big Lie. Russia will lose. Yep. No peace talks allowed. Because we got pieces of crap running the show. White House says U.S. won't push Ukraine to negotiate with Russia. That's right. John Kirby, the National Security Coordinator for Strategic Communications, for spewing out bullshit that morons will swallow. Strategic Communications. Yes, sir. Look at the fucking crap they come up with. Look at Strategic Communications. Yeah. He said, the U.S. will not push Ukraine to reach a negotiated settlement with Russia. As Russia now has over 20% of Ukraine. And as we said before this started, you should negotiate before the war begins. Because what fucking moron, other than the shitheads that they put on mainstream TV, the mainstream that takes you down the toilet bowl, Oh, Russia's losing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The war's going on for, for, for weeks now when they're losing as America lost a 20-year war against Afghanistan, killed over a million people in Iraq and lost that war over decades. And then when you build, bring Bill Clinton into it and George Bush Sr.'s war with Iraq, probably not more than 20 years. Oh, let's see. Oh, Libya turned it into a hellhole. You lost. And people listen to this shit. Anyway, Zelensky gets to determine how victory is decided. Oh, yeah? He gets to determine? A fucking comedian who played a comedian as a president of Ukraine on TV before the, the comedian became the real comedian president of Ukraine, he gets to decide? This is the shit that they spew out, and this is the crap that the people swallow. And when, and on what terms? Oh, on what terms? As Russia now controls over 20% of the place? Yep. goes on to say that, um, and we're going to do is to continue to make sure that he can succeed on the battlefield so that he could succeed on the table. You're losing on the battlefield. What table? What table are you talking about? And then that clown, that clown, the little shithead, scumbag, fucking prick, lying Boris Johnson the clown over there, where's the clown over there? Boris Johnson, the shithead playing the prime minister of the UK. He was over there in April and he was telling Zelensky that he should not negotiate with Putin and that Ukraine is ready to sign some agreements on guarantees with Putin, even if Ukraine is ready to sign some guarantees with Putin. And that, that Johnson position was that a collective West was strong and they would press Putin. He even urged the Katzon Macron over there in France that Ukrainians not negotiate with Russia. Russia wanted peace talks in the beginning, and I'm totally against their invasion. And they were dismissed by the United States and NATO and Ukraine. Again, look at your cover. The big lie. Russia will lose, and they keep lying. Oh, by the way, that little shithead Johnson is in trouble again. One of his um, uh, guys there, uh, MP, 
senior official. I love this, a senior official. A senior official piece of shit resigned after an admission that Johnson knew of multiple complaints about, quote, the predatory behavior of MP Chris Pincher before appointing him de deputy whip. Yeah, deputy whip, the fucking little prick, the deputy whip pincher, little pincher pricker. You know what he whipped? He liked whipping little boys. Yeah. Yeah, he emerged and he groped two men at private men's club last week. Pincher. You can't make this shit up. And again, this little fucking lion Johnson locking down the fucking country as he's partying. I'm mentioning this because these are the shitheads running and ruining our lives in a country near you. And it's in your trends journal this week. Trends on the economic front. You ready for this? Oh, today the markets, the Dow is down over 700 points. Oh, it rebounded to close down a little bit. Yeah, the S&P was down 2%, but that rebounded. Oh, and the NASDAQ was down 1.7, but that rebounded. The game is rigged by the people that I'm talking about. This thing is going down big and hard. Gold took a big hit today. Again, your numbers are in the Trends Journal. We have all the details there where the breakout points are. Bitcoin, gold, and oil. Oil, Brent crude at $103 a barrel. Down from $120 a barrel you know, two weeks ago. And they're saying it's going down because the recession's happening. Oh, yeah? I thought there would be no recession. I thought the Federal Reserve wouldn't raise interest rates until 2024. That's what they said. This is not going to be a recession. These numbers are going down temporarily on, on other prices because there's going to be dragflation. The economy is going to drag down and inflation is going to skyrocket. Stock players lost more than $9 trillion just this year. Just this year. What else do we have? Can't afford to buy a home? Well, don't worry. You could go broke renting one and all that's going on over there. And is it time to buy a home? What real estate's going up and what real estate's going down? It's all in your trends journal. And dragflation. Yep. Because it's dragflation. They're raising interest rates in different countries to battle inflation. You're looking at inflation in, in places like Turkey that are near 80%. Argentina, like 60%, 70%. And they're raising interest rates to battle it. But their currencies are going way down. And their economies are going way down. And their debt is dollar-based. We are in for the crisis of a lifetime. And we're doing everything we can to help you prepare, prevail, and prosper with your Trends Journal. Global factory output slows as consumers cut spending. All of the data here, what's going on, Again, you're looking, you're, you're, you're looking at one country after another. Raising interest rates as the economies are going down, dragging the economies down even further, trying to fight inflation, which they should try to do before, but they ignored it going up. And on the Ukraine war report, this top Ukrainian ambassador, Heil Hitler, the facts are there. And Biden's telling Americans, you're going to keep paying more for gas because we're in the fight for the Ukraine war. Oh, today's July 5th. Yesterday was July 4th, Independence Day. What Independence Day? We're nothing but plantation workers of slave land here. We got all these little pricks, and I can't say the other word, that have locked down the economy to fight the COVID war. They have destroyed businesses beyond recognition that they will never, oh, you know what they're saying? Oh, the pandemic hurt it. Not the pandemic, not the pandemic, the politicians using their political science. 
So what business is going to go down? What are the entrepreneur opportunities? We're giving you everything we can in the Trends Journal because more absolute bullshit. The G7, and this is another reason why they're saying oil prices are going down. They're going to put a price cap on Russian oil. No fucking way. Oh, I shouldn't say fucking way. You have to be proper. And what else do we have here? Again, another huge addition. Ah, Trends in Technocracy by Joe Duran. Guns and Words, The Murder of American Rights. One after another. This week in surveillance, what China's doing, Trend, beat the elite, trends in preparedness, walking up to freedom-minded businesses, trends in cryptos, where this is going, and trends in the COVID war. The COVID killed the human spirit, Jack, you're dead. You see the craziness going on around the country, in a country near you. Copenhagen, hey, they got the toughest gun laws around, bop, bop, bop. This crazy guy killed a bunch of people. Not a happy 4th of July over there in Illinois. Another crazy guy. When people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And people in the retail sector now want to fight back against the crazy people that are coming in there stealing, robbing, and beating people up. We said this was going to happen when they launched the COVID war. It's in detail in your Trends Journal. We said this would happen. That violence would go up, crime would go up, gun deaths would go up. When people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And again, they're losing it all over the world. Look what's going on in Libya. The Nobel Peace of Crap Prize winner Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Samantha Price, Susan Rice, Samantha Power, Susan Rice, championed the overthrow of Gaddafi. And Clinton said when she found out he was dead and asked how she felt, we came, we saw he died. Guess what? It's riot time in Libya. Thanks to the United States and NATO. The NATO scum who keep calling out Russia for their murderous Iraq war, Afghan war, Libyan war. Yugoslav war. And nobody talks about the Yemen war. Brought to you by the Nobel Peace of Crap Prize winner Barack Obama and that arrogant, arrogant, arrogant little dick who's our Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken. I went to Dalton. I went to Harvard and daddy got me there. And I went to Saudi Arabia to give them intelligence on how we could kill more of the Houthis over there in Yemen. And you're talking about Russia and Ukraine. Media doesn't cover that. They're prostitutes. Prostitutes. And all of these media wars like Bette Midler and all the other ones out there, the Kimmel Clown, all these little comedians championing, championing, one after another, the vaccinations, how proud they were to get them now out there protesting, my body, my choice. Hypocrites, how about my body, my choice? No, Salenti, you got to take the vax like we do. We're comedians and we sell shit. You should swallow it too. And that's what this whole thing is. It's one big freak show. Comedians are in charge. You need a better one than Johnson? How about Biden? Look at Macron, the little Rothschilds boy. We're going down big, we're going down hard, and we're giving you everything we can to help you prepare, prevail, and prosper for what's coming up ahead in your Trends Journal, trendsjournal.com, trendsjournal.com. World War III has begun. If we don't unite for peace, we're going to die in war. And remember, on I'm doing everything I can to fight for freedom. So on July 23rd, coming up quick, the rally at the Four Corners of Freedom, John and Crown Street, Peace and Freedom Rally, featuring myself, Judge Andrew Napolitano, Scott Ritter, 
Gary Nell, the Hot Damn Band, and others. We'll have vendors there. You know, it's free to come in. You know, it's, it's a fight for freedom. These freaks are going to take us to war. Look who they are. The war has begun, World War III. You're going to wait for the atom bomb, to, the nuclear bomb, excuse me, to go off? They're not going to let Russia win. So they think. And again, look at the cover of your Trends Journal. The big lie, Russia will lose. Again, if we don't unite for peace, we're going to die for war. So read your Trends Journal. It's history before it happens. Thank you. From COVID war to Ukraine war to world war. Are you prepared for what's next? These are unprecedented times. What's next? What's going to happen? Read the Trends Journal. We have an unsurpassed track record of forecasting history before it happens. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Read history before it happens. From the world leader in trend forecasting.